morning, Quite Copter 101. And before we get started, I got to get the shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Do It Your How to Do It Yourself RC. How to Do It Yourself RC was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So congratulations. What do I got for you? This is the new FX820 SU35 RC airplane. It is a two channel RC airplane, which means you have control of direction and going up or down via the throttle. Uh, what, how this works is this uses um, differential thrust on these two motors. If you want to turn to the left and give a command to turn to the left, this motor will spin faster than this motor and push it to the left. Same way if you want to turn to the right, this motor would spin faster than that motor and it would push it to the right. Um, if you want to climb, you increase the throttle. That increases the lift and the, quad, or the airplane goes up. And if you want to reduce throttle and come back down, just reduce the throttle and the motors will slow down and the aircraft will descend. Now, why am I interested in this, this aircraft? It is cheap for one thing, but another thing is it supposedly, supposedly has uh, gyro stabilization. Now, this is another aircraft that had two channel aircraft that I had previously reviewed that has two channel stabilization, which worked very well. Um, this is that C-17. I still got it. This is a quadcopter 101 keeper, by the way. <laughs> but if this has it, you know, this is much more aerodynamic than that C-17, and it should be a better flyer if, if it has gyro stabilization. Why do I say if? Well, for one, well, it looks like it. There's a flight control board there. <laughs> but um, the only documentation that I saw that this has stabilization was deep inside the manual. Um, I didn't see it anywhere else. But uh, how, what that does, though, for stabilization, uh, with most RC aircraft, if you don't, properly balance them, um, you start to get fugoid oscillations where it goes up and down, up and down. Uh, the stabilizer in this uh, varies the thrust on the motors to prevent that. And if I hope, we'll find out actually if this has stabilization the first time it gets into the air. I can tell you right away. So enough jabber. Let's get in the air and fly this thing. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, to fire this up, you first turn on the airplane. By the way, this has a 220 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt white low C connector battery, very common. You can find spares relatively easy. And then we'll turn on the receiver or the transmitter and bind it with an up and down, just like you do with quadcopters. Then we're gonna give it full throttle and hope it takes to the air by the time it gets to the end of that runway. Well, I'm seeing some fugoids. And maybe it's meant to do that. Let's turn it to the left. It's just climbing. Let's reduce the throttle. Reducing even more. It goes into a steep climb on high throttle. I'm, I'm reducing the throttle, cutting it back even more. It wants to climb. I'm still seeing a little bit of fugoids, but actually they're stabilizing at. And I'm trying to get back low again. <laughs> you want to do turns like this. This is how you turn these uh, two channels. <laughs> if you turn it, um, try to do it proportionally. It just don't work in a lot of these, and this one it don't. You know, a little hard over is what I'm saying. But there it is. I want to do a slow flyby if I can. I'm going to walk over to it as I'm trying to turn it. A little more throttle. Increasing throttle. Maybe if I go down to the other end of the field and then come back the other way. I have to give it more and more throttle. See in fugoids. If it is stabilized, it's not very well stabilized. <laughs> Let's turn it to the left, see if it comes back on the left. Not too bad. Turn it to the left again. Do slow flyby. Now this is a, not a windy day flyer. If you got wind, this I can tell you right now, I can see this one having problems.
<laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Coming around the other way. Interesting little airplane. Bring it around the other way. One more pass. Then I'm going to try to send it up high again. And then increasing the throttle slowly, gradually. And it climbs. Not hard to fly it. it. Again, it's a beginner's airplane. This is how you turn. Again, don't give it... Watch Watch what happens if I try to turn it. See? <laughs> I'm going to try to... Try to dive to the ground. If I try to give it proportional, well, maybe I can. Well, no, see? It'll make a rapid dive. So this is the best way to turn it like this. These, And again, this is true for a lot of these two channels. You know, turn it to the left like that. A little gradual oops. Okay, coming back down again, reducing throttle. Reducing throttle even more. Turn to the left. I want to bring it toward me at a lower altitude. Reducing throttle more. And now I'm giving it throttle to stop its descent. Turn to the left, increasing throttle. That 220 milliamp per hour is probably getting tired now. So we'll, we're going to call it quits after this next turn and land it. I don't want to wear out that battery till it dies, so there we go. And my front wheel came out. I think I see it over there. Wait a minute. Where did you pop out at? Maybe it popped out in the air. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> we'll find. I'm going to look around in the ground. But that was it. It's flight. The SU-35FX-A20. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. I found it. <laughs> you might want to glue these in <laughs> so they don't pop out. So Quadcopter 101. Signing out. <laughs>